Welcome to the shit show, punk bitches. Don't go to fucking school. If you get inspired by Rudy, you're a fucking loser. Any grown adult on TikTok should be registered as a sex offender. I'm political poison. Nobody running for office wants to touch me except maybe Joe Biden. Sex would probably be really annoying if they had to stop to bitch about how entitled millennials are. It's time to get rid of the boomer. You should gas up your meth-addicted cousin Shane the same way you support Lizzo. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of coronavirus isn't real excuse me deepish thoughts i'm caleb salvatore your hosts like i said some say i'm a comedian some say i'm a jackass well we can all agree on the jackass part um i just i've been doing a lot of soul searching lately and i think it's time to enter phase four of flattening the curve and phase four only gets rolled out when the first three phases didn't work phase four Actually, this would be option D, not phase four, because phase four would imply the first three options actually did anything. So option D, right? Option D of the plan to reopen America, of the plan to flatten the curve. We're on our final option, and that option is to just start making it open season on anyone who doesn't wear a mask. Just shoot them right in the street. They don't have a mask on. You're good to go. Gang members, now's your time. Somebody doesn't have a fucking mask on, one of your rivals, go pop him. You'll get away with it spot free. That, this, is, this is about saving lives, people. Anyone not wearing a mask should be killed. We can all agree on that? Sure. Anyone. Never mind the fact that they might be a sexual assault survivor, you know, who having something covering their mouth might trigger PTSD for them. Hashtag believe all women, but not when it comes to wearing masks, right? Never mind the fact they might be like me and legally blind without glasses, not allowed to drive, and masks fog up their fucking vision. Fuck them too. Maybe they just don't want to wear a fucking mask and it's none of your goddamn business because if you're that fucking scared of everything, you should just live in a Nerf room. That the that that's what you need to do. Like, if you're that scared that you're willing to get in someone's face, where's your mask? It's none of your fucking business. Shut the fuck up and don't worry about it. Maybe they didn't have any at the store. Maybe they don't want to wear a fucking mask for a slew of reasons. Some of which I just mentioned, and I'm sure there's more valid reasons. It's not your fucking business. Where's your mask? Shut the fuck up. Don't ask me, where's your mask? Where's a gun to blow your fucking head off and do the world a favor, you piece of shit? That would be a lot better. If you're gonna scream at somebody and ask, where's your mask? Cut the formalities and just throw yourself in front of a semi-truck on the freeway. Because that's about all you're fucking worth. Don't fucking worry about it. How about that? Worry about yourself. That's who's super excited about this are the granola moms, right? You know, they wake up and they, they flick their droopy bean. They fucking masturbate and choke themselves to the every time they see a new an article about a coronavirus death. I'm one more closer to me being right because at this point they'd rather pe millions of people die than admit they're wrong. So they're super upset that we're not going to hit that one million mark, right? Because it's it's more about being right. Because we talked about it before. They don't give a fuck about any lives. They, sit, they want to sit there and masturbate to the death tolls. Every death, it's one step closer to them being right. Because they got nothing else to, to do. They're these granola moms, they're fucking the big, their, their proudest accomplishment is finding someone to stick their penis in their cavernous vagina for the next 35 years. That's what they're excited. They trapped some dumb motherfucking dude to make a bunch of crotch goblins with them. And that's the best thing they got going for them. So they need everyone else to be brought down to that level of misery as well. 
That's what it is. And every, why is every fucking leftist in their mid 20s saying they're immunocompromised? You can't all be. It's a very small segment of the population, okay? The, every leftist has some type of disorder. Have you noticed that? Every leftist that's like in my age demographic, younger millennials, early gen or late Gen Z, they all have the, they've, got, they've been diagnosed by nobody with some type of disorder. I'm immunocompromised. And only, uh, no, most people are not immunocompromised. Most people do not have mental disorders. You have gone on Tumblr and diagnosed yourself with that. That doesn't, I had a cold one day, I have asthma. Shut the fuck up. You're not immunocompromised. Your only disability is that you're a fucking pussy. Let the rest of us who aren't afraid of our own shadow go back to work. You sit in your little fucking hole. Stay there. Don't ever come out. Never. We, we'll, we'll enjoy it a lot more. You sit there and hide being terrified of the coronavirus. The rest of us, will, or whatever other virus is on the streets in a year or two from now, hide from that. And the rest of us will go out. We'll assume the risk of what we're doing. And if you're right, you can laugh on my grave. How about that? You can piss on my grave. I will let you show up to my funeral and fuck my corpse in front of my entire morning grieving family if you're right. How about that? But if not, stay the fuck in your hole. I don't want you there. I don't want you out and about. There's plenty of hardworking people that want a job. They'll take yours. Don't worry about that. Sit there and hide. Be afraid of everything. Better... Life is so scary. Just everywhere, there's just some disease that's out to get you. Somebody's going to rob you. Somebody's going to kill you. Just get it over with. Just suck on a shotgun shell and do it that way. That way you have nothing to be afraid of. You've already, you've jumped the gun literally and figuratively. You, you beat them, you beat the virus to the punch. You take back control of your life. Fucking pseudo victims are the worst people in the world because they water down and they take meaning away from actual victims. There are actually people out there who have gone to a fucking doctor and been diagnosed with a severe crippling mental illness. You getting anxiety over your college final is not mental illness. It's called being a fucking 20 year old college student. Shut the fuck up and fail your final like the rest of us. And I am dressed like a college student today. I'm recording, I had to go somewhere dressed nice and I'm just recording it afterwards. Not a funeral. I didn't lose anyone to the coronavirus. Stay the fuck home. Adding the word the fuck, the words the fuck to your sentence does not make it any more reasonable or you any less obnoxious. I don't want to stay the fuck home. These people act and now the, I've seen it a couple places, the fear tactic the murder hornets. So once it comes out that they blew their load on coronavirus and it wasn't that bad. And they'll just point to, well, imagine how bad it would have been if we didn't, if we didn't shut down. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone going to the fucking grocery store at the same time canceled out whatever you did. Right. That's what I love. This, the grocery store, the virus can't live there. It's immune, totally sanitary. As many people as possible can go to the grocery store. Even if we're breaking fire codes, we're pushing Black Friday numbers on every on a fucking Wednesday. Everyone can go to the grocery store. Sporting events, bars, clubs, restaurants. That's the only place the virus can live. The virus can't survive where we tell you it can't. So the hardware store, for some reason, the virus must be all the wood shavings there. The virus can't survive there. They have those, you know, those fucking... Um, industrial fans they, they suck the virus right up it can survive there playgrounds it, it can't the playgrounds it, it can survive there right they can shut that down the basketball courts that's right that's right but stay the fuck home you stay the fuck home you obviously have nothing better to do stay the fuck home i don't care what you do. We will be better off. We won't have, it's not like you win anywhere anyways. It, we won't have these fucking ignorant trolls crawling out of their fucking cave to scream at people and belittle them because they're not following the latest fashion trend. Shut the fuck up. The fashion trend of wearing a mask, mind you. Shut the fuck up. Stay in your hole. I don't want you to come back. We'll go back to real life. 
You can stay in your padded room with your made up. I mean, you, you've diagnosed yourself with schizophrenia, so it only makes sense, right? I got to time myself. I went too far last time. They don't have, seriously. Okay, we're good. They have nothing else to do. The only thing these people, like, this is their big moment. They can scold everyone from home because otherwise all they ever had going was watching the fucking Masked Singer. The, the masks, I love the Masked Singer because it has redefined what cancer is. And it, is, it has made it very clear what types of people I do not want to hang out with. If you watch The Masked Singer and you blast it all over social media, or now if you just watch it, period, I know that I don't want to talk to you. That, that's the only red flag I need. It's the only one. I used to have to sit down and get to know people. Now it's, I just ask, do, do, you watch the, do you watch The Masked Singer? As soon as, as soon as they say yes, I'm out the door. I don't even fucking give them a chance. Oh, and Tom Hanks was dressed up as a scuba diver. Is that not the most fucking boomer thing you have ever heard? People my age watch it. I don't fucking know why. Because this is what we've been reduced to. Because we're taking political policy advice from fucking Jojo Siwa now. I just made that up. I have no idea if we actually are listening to Jojo Siwa on politics, but it doesn't fucking matter because 2020 is so ridiculous. I'm sure she has spouted off at the mouth about something about politics and someone took it literally. Someone shared it as if, yeah, you know, it's, this is good policy advice, solid advice here from Jojo Siwa. But Caleb, you're, you're a comedian. And you're, you're questioning doctors. No, I'm questioning the doctors that you have cherry-picked to push your fucking agenda, cunt. We use the word cunt on this show. You people act like hairstylists are being drugged from their homes, crystal knocked style, at fucking gunpoint and just being forced to cut hair. They're going to have to raise their, their rates for hazard pay. You know what? That's fine. I'll pay an extra five bucks to get my hair cut. It's not the end of the world. But if we perpetually lock them down for the next year, like you fucking morons want us to do, their rates are going to quadruple best case scenario to make up for the lost income. You want to pay a hundred bucks for a haircut? And that's about what my girlfriend pays, but a men's haircut where I got to get it cut like once every month. I'm not trying to pay a hundred bucks for that. I don't think you are either. So I will pay the extra $5 hazard pay. I'll even put the fucking mask on if that's the only way I can get a haircut, right? I'll fucking suck it up because I can't see with the glasses on and I'll just take it. It is what it is. But I'm not going to scream at someone and ask where their mask is. If I go in there and I see a, a stylist that's not wearing a mask, I'm not going to report her. I don't fucking care. None of you people, like you people that are, are complaining about this, that it's too soon to reopen, are retired on disability for their alcoholism and drug addiction or gambling addiction, you name it, right? Um, stay at home mothers, those are the big ones. And that uh, people who like live with their parents, right? Th those are the four big, big subcategories of people yelling, stay the fuck home. Everyone else wants to go back to work. Most, most everyone. Business. And then there's always that one outlier that, oh, I own a business. I think it's too soon to reopen. Your our Bonnie multi-level marketing scheme that you're falling for does not count as a fucking business, jackass. But you know what is a business? NorthSpokaneCBD.com. Where you go to NorthSpokaneCBD.com, use the code word drunk for 15% off your order. It'll help loosen you up, fights anxiety, aches, pains, even some of the offsets of uh, and some of the symptoms of dementia, epilepsy, proven as that or proven treatment against that, at least from what I've seen in first person, or I've seen 
hits off of CBD vapes stop a seizure cold or dead in its tracks before it starts and not have the side effects of the, what we call t tactical nukes, those little pills that stop the seizures and then knock you out for the fucking next, for the rest of the day. doesn't do that. It actually works and lets you get back to your day, which a lot of these people don't want you to do. A lot of the people I just ranted against don't want you to be able to work and get back to life. They don't want you to go to NorthSpokaneCBD.com, use the code word drunk for 15% off your order. So you need to go do it because every single time we do something that pisses these fucking pussies off, these politically correct jackasses, it's another victory. I'll be a small one. I'm tired of having this country's policy be dictated by people who are too lazy to do the dishes. So they just fucking drain out their pasta in the bathtub. These are the types of people we're having to deal with right now that are yelling, stay the fuck home. Stay the fuck home. My antisocial borderline narcissistic behavior should be normalized. Stay the fuck home. I'm with you. Stay home for good. Don't go anywhere. Ever. Just, just lock yourself in your home. I'm, I'm circling a wagon at this point. Listen, I hate the fucking people that I, I truly do. I, I, I've come out, you know, most of the shit, when you hear me say fucking ridiculous shit on here, it's mainly a character I'm playing, right? Like when I, I tell people they should abort their kids. Obviously, I don't actually believe that. Or when I say that all old people are worthless, I kind of believe that. But of course, I don't actually believe these things. But when, I, you know, I, I don't hate anyone to generalize, right? I don't hate any group of people like race, sexuality, gender, religion, you know, what you identify as. I might make fun of you in my stand up, but I'm an equal opportunity offender. I don't hate anyone because of that. I hate people because of their opinions. I hate people that are usually too fucking weak to say anything to anyone in person. So they're using the police that they claim to hate so much. Better men than themselves or women. Remember, I don't discriminate. To enforce their will, to stick it in the eye of the people that they normally wouldn't have the balls to say jack shit to. They'll talk shit from Facebook. They'll report you anonymously to the police. But their day of reckoning is going to come eventually. I don't know what's going to happen to them. Maybe they all actually are immunocompromised. And it'll run through them like Mexican food going through my irritated bowels. We can only hope. Those are the people I hate. The only people I, like, the only people, because everyone does have a group of people they hate. It doesn't necessarily mean they're, it's, it's a race or a religion or a gender or sexuality. Some people do, and that's fucked up. But it's usually people who think a certain way. People who want to control every aspect of your life. Those are the people that I hate. Those are the people that you should hate too because they fucking hate you. Those people hate everyone but themselves. They are also not racist. They're not homophobic. They're not sexist. They just hate anyone who doesn't want to fall in line with their bullshit, you know, mandates. Wear a fucking mask. Fucking make me. You hate the cops so much. But if you didn't have the cops to call on me not wearing a mask, do you know what you would do? You'd shut the fuck up and stay in your little hole. You wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't tell me to wear a fucking mask. You wouldn't report me and have better men than yourself come and make me wear, wear a mask. You'd shut the fuck up like you're supposed to do. Because you are lower on the food chain than most humans. That's what it comes down to. The average American doesn't give a fuck about your fringe political ideology. Oh, you're a cog in the system of capitalism. They don't fucking care about that. They care about the fact that they've either drained their savings account or are now three payments behind on their mortgage. We can sit here and debate economic theory all day, but 90% of the population doesn't give a shit. They want to get back to work and not have their kids eating ramen for 16 days in a row. That's what they want to do. 
They don't care about how Bernie would have handled this. They see a problem, and maybe they're right for thinking that way, maybe they're wrong. They see a problem in front of them and say, okay, I can solve this problem by going back to work. That's what they want to do. They don't give a fuck. And this is why, and remember, I don't like Donald Trump, but this is why he will win again. This is why he will win again. Because if you twat waffles that want to rule everybody, I don't give a fuck, man. You can be a, a black lesbian trans woman of color that's also a Muslim and a Jew at the same time. Go fucking figure that out for yourself. If you're cool, I'll be, I, we can be best fucking friends, right? You can be a straight white male. If you're cool, we can be best friends. God forbid. Fucking straight white males. I hate them. Not really. Or, but, excuse me. If you want to use the government to control me and how I live my life and you're using a fucking virus with a slightly higher kill rate than the flu to justify what you're doing, I fucking hate you. I went out Friday with some friends of ours to a camping thing, like a camper. We didn't sit six feet apart. SWAT team me. They had like camping ground out in, uh, so I'm not going to tell you where it's at. It doesn't matter. But um, we went out there and they were a bunch of just drunk rednecks and they were happy. They had not a care in the world. They weren't talking about coronavirus they weren't talking about Tara Reid, about Kim Jong-un, about Russia and Saudi Arabia's oil war, about war with China. They weren't talking about any of those things. They were maybe talking about the $37 pineapple-shaped lamp from Target that their significant other made them buy. But they weren't talking, they weren't concerned about it. And at first, because I, I live in such a fast-paced world where we're always talking about this shit, it was different. It was like, whoa, you guys, the world's burning around you and you, you, you don't care about, like, you, you're, you're just getting drunk and talking about high school. And then I realized something. These fucking people have figured it out. They stayed in the matrix and that's the smart thing to do. To get drunk and eat some fucking shrooms and sit around with your buddies and your piece of shit brother Kids have been missing for 45 minutes. Where are the kids? Oh, they're with Jake. They're fine. Jake's a violent felon on his third DUI. But they don't give a fuck. They live for now. They've stayed in the matrix. Don't. That's the thing. They've got it figured out because when the time comes, it, it's over. They don't fucking care. They'll deal with it then. Some of them might make it. Some of them might not. You know, when the time comes, if society ever did collapse it, I don't think it will. But they've got it figured out. They are living for right now. The key is to stay in the matrix. That's what I'm going to leave you with. Don't break the matrix. Don't red pill yourself. It's just going to bring you pain and suffering. The only thing you should care about is killing that 24 pack of Bud Light and then passing out on top of your tent while your wife screams at you and your buddies just sit, sit around and laugh. You know, pissing on your, your bonfire to put it out. Those are the important things. $37 pineapple shaped lamps from Target. Your girlfriend bought on your credit card. Your, your Amex card that's gone missing passed out drunk at home last weekend and you don't know where it went but all of a sudden shit that says live laugh love keeps showing up to your house from amazon and tj maxx online you've got hundreds of dollars build up on your credit card 
stuff that's addressed to you. You you have no idea where any of it came from. Your significant other takes it and, oh, I wonder how that got here. That's what you should worry about. That should be your biggest concern. And Caleb Salvatore, this is Deepish Thoughts, NorthSpokaneCBD.com, promo code DRUNK for 15% off your order. Take your fucking masks off. Stay in the matrix. Peace out.